What up, man? It's Glenn, Midtown Power Washers, beautiful Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, today we're going to talk about where do I get my SH, sodium hypochlorite, bleach, pool shock, whatever you want to call it. We'll get down to where I find mine and kind of maybe where you can find yours. So you're ready to start a pressure washing business, roof washing, all that good stuff. So I just wanted to show you, that's where they make this stuff, right here. All right, they make it there. We fill up over here. All right, guys, so we're picking up some SH today. As you can see, they make a lot. <laughs> uh, we got to get filled up real quick. Uh, it just brings over the big tote and lift it up and we just fill them up. You know, we're, we're talking about, you know, spending about $2 a gallon, a little over $2 a gallon. And we have an account, so they just take it out of our account uh, every month. And, you know, no fuss, no muss. He just pulls up and uh, fills us up. It's uh, very convenient. But again, you have to get more than just a couple of gallons at, at a time we have to get they said you know don't waste your time if i ain't getting at least 25 gallons or so um so that's that's what we're planning on getting you know about 30 gallons that's usually what i pick up every time because that'll fill up my whole tank if i'm doing nothing but roofs that'll fill up my whole tank with a five percent we'll be close to you know 80 gallons all right guys so there's a couple places you can get this stuff uh, you can get it from a pool supply store. You can get it from Home Depot. They'll have 10% pool supply stores. will either have 10 or 12. The ones in my area all have 10, so that's not really even, you know, an option. I like 12, uh, obviously, for obvious reasons. But I found this company. It's in my city. If you're in a major city, I advise you to look up uh, sodium hypochlorite manufacturers all right so they make this stuff there um and fill us up now they they make it for you know water treatment facilities and stuff like that they they actually deliver the vast majority of what they make but they all ha always have a 300 300 gallon tote at the shop that they can fill us up now, I don't know if a lot of people do that with them. I'm not sure how that works, but I know that that's the way I do it. And uh, I had to set up an account with them and all that stuff, and they just bill my account every month for as much as I get out. So, you know, that is definitely an option to go with, and it's a really good option because I get the hottest sodium hypochlorite that I could possibly get and i mean it just don't get no hotter than that they make it right right next door and um so i get the hottest stuff i can get and i get it cheaper than if i go get a, a two and a half gallon pail at the pool supply store that's 10 10 percent i'm paying like seven dollars for one of those um so you know you're just getting more bang for your buck so if you do a little research in your town you can find somewhere you can find somewhere there is somebody you know especially if you're in the south there's somebody that's got it now up north i don't know how that works i imagine y'all have pool places just like that it might be a little different in the winter i'm not sure but down here you can call around if you live in a big city chances are somebody makes it because those pools those pool companies and the water treatment facilities have to get it from somewhere so uh, my thoughts about it were I was just going to skip the middleman and go to the source. I hope this helps somebody out, man. Just look into it. Home Depot will get you by for a while, but when you start doing roofs and stuff like that, that's when I had to start looking into 
getting something else because you know with roofs and everything i just i need more i don't I, I can't go in there and just buy up everything that home depot has and then hope that they got some so i had to find a reliable source for it um full supply stores are good there's there's one that's kind of a ways out that, that i could always go to but i, I never do um, just because this is so convenient for me it takes me like 15 minutes to get down here and fill up and I can I can put 30 gallons in it and I just since I got a batch batch mix I just kind of work my way down I usually cut it you know a little bit more than half if I'm doing roofs for the day and then so on and so forth you know I'll go knock out my roofs first thing and then I'll just fill it up with water just do some math and figure it out from there uh, if I'm going to do a house wash or doing some concrete work or whatever the case may be after that, I just try to make sure I do my roofs first and then I can figure out the rest after I finish those roofs. So hope this helps y'all out. Y'all be easy. Stay safe. Peace.